What's up scrubs, I'm BG Mike. Today we're back with Who Is Mike? It's so ironic every time, isn't it? Anyway guys, uh, let's continue on. We're going to actually do the final ending for this series. Uh, if you guys have missed any episodes, which I do highly recommend that you guys do catch up because it's a really short game and a really awesome game. Click the card above me. It should be right around here somewhere. Click that and you can catch up. Anyway, let's get started guys. Okay guys, so this game does have multiple endings and I'm not really sure which one is the true one. So we're going to go with the first ending and just see if it's true because I think it is. I mean, why else would it be number one? So let's try it. Okay, so we're kind of going on the path to get the first ending and I hope it's the true one because I really want to see like what what is wh who is the real Mike and all that. You know, I want to see why Mike is even here. So many questions, guys. This game leaves me with Okay, so we are now at the point in the game where Sarah is asking us one last question before I think she decides whether or not which mic is real in her head at least. So here we go, guys. This, this is brand new, okay? So, Mikey, did anything special last night? I'm guessing it's supposed to say happen. Huh? Went around town? Had a good time? Sarah, is this another one of your random questions? Nope. So did you go anywhere else? Um, not really. Why? By the way, those are really nice glasses. Are they new? Uh, got them yesterday? Oh, right, yeah. Yesterday. I guess I forgot to mention it. Uh, is it a big deal? Oh, okay, so she's questioning this Mike because he doesn't know any of this stuff. Yeah, you know how forgetful I am. <laughs> so innocent I am. We all know that the guy, you know, this Mike right here is the fake. No, of course not. So where's your old pair? That old thing? That old thing? I threw them out. They were falling apart. Just horrible. You've harped me about them ever since I, I thought I might as well. I see. Yeah. <laughs> He's starting to... Look at his eyes, man. Come on, Sarah. I hope you aren't implying that I'm faking just because I have new glasses on. Definitely not. This has nothing to do with your new glasses. I bet you they're not even new. Although, Mike... Care to tell me why this other mic has your old ones? Ooh. Sarah pointed at the, the grimy pair of scratch glasses perched on my nose. So Sarah, oh my god, Sarah my girl, she finally, she finally did us a solid. What? I, I don't know. He might have gotten his hands on them. What? It's far more likely you got a new pair because the old pair was still stuck to the original mic. Exactly. I still don't know why we're dirty though. That's preposterous. I'm talking uh, to the two versions of my boyfriend here, so I am all for it at this point. I mean, he can't be surprised. I mean, come on. You didn't really believe I had memory loss, did you? I knew you attacked me, but I had to make noise to alert Sarah. What? I feigned memory loss to buy time, maybe even lower your guard. My main goal was to get Sarah downstairs and catch you. I knew you couldn't get rid of me once I had the, or made the noise. What the heck? Turns out we're all freaking smart here. Wow, what's one way to get a freaking person off guard? There was something weird about you. I just a gut feel, I guess. Five question in, five questions in, I knew you were faking. Nice try though. But everything I said was the truth. Let's see, what a person says isn't as important as the body language they protect or project, hun. Or in your case, your apparent lack of them. You may have Mike's face and voice and memories, but darling, you gotta work on your acting. May I suggest jazz fingers next time? Look, I don't know what your deal is, and I don't think I want to know. Just get out of my life and stop using my face. Give it up, perp. Oh god, guys, it's getting, <laughs> it's getting serious right now. He's mumbling. Guess I got caught. Oh god, look at that. That's not creepy. His inhuman laughter pierced my ears. Goosebumps prickled at the back of my neck. Sarah and I watched as the man with my face smiled. His eyes glowed bright red in the darkness, emitting their own light like an ember. Oh, it's red now. Now he's titled Fake Mike. But we were having such a good time, Sarah, darling. I was with you the whole night. Bet you didn't even know I was a fake before this scum got lucky. Yeah, but I knew something was off. Piece of advice though, next time pick a dumber couple, bucko. He was still wearing my face. He looked genuinely hurt when he spoke again. Everything I said was the truth, Sarah. I am still Mike. Uh, heart and minds. Oh, it keeps adding on text and it confuses me. 
I am he, and he is I. Give me a week, and you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. A week? What does he mean by that? After all, if I had the memories, personality, and essence of someone, uh, how could you say I'm a fake? Um, you have those freaky crap growing, <laughs> growing, <laughs> glowing red uh, orbs for eyes. I wouldn't say it's a pretty big giveaway. His, or I would say it's a pretty big giveaway. His face contorted into amused anger. Mike, look out! Crap, what's he doing to us? The next thing I knew, his long arms were outstretched, making a grasp for my neck. Is he like Slenderman or something? He has like long, long arms? I felt his fingertips graze my skin and my throat made an invol involuntary gulp. That was close. With no time to think, I made a dive for the bat and flung the heavy end into my attacker. But he only parried the blow with his arm. Okay, I gotta get ready, guys, for this because uh, we need to, like, figure out what's gonna go on. Oh, God. Oh, it's getting serious now. It didn't look like he was going to stop him for long. So, he he's not human then, obviously. Run, Sarah. Back off. Oh, God, he shot her. You brought your gun with you? I heard a thud. Better safe than sorry. Well, yeah, we all know that she shot us that one ending. You mean better paranoid than di- Oh god, what's happening? A monstrous force flung my body and I collided with the hard wall of the living room. I felt a rib break with the impact. Oh guys, I know how it feels to break a bone and it sucks. It does not feel good. Ugh. Mike? Sarah! Bastard! Sarah fired more shots at the creature. One of them grazed him on the left arm. It wasn't enough to maim him. The fake Mike swiped the gun out of Sarah's hands and it careened under the table. Ugh. He grabbed Sarah by the neck. Oh god, guys, no! I don't want to see this! Fear bubbled up inside me. It was bigger than any pain I've ever endured, especially more than a broken rib, I guess. Sarah! No, let her go! Sarah groaned helplessly, struggling against the inhuman hand that belonged to me. Cold swept and velvet my skin. Uh, in a thin, terrified film. Easy now, boy. I'm not going to kill her. Oh, wait. What did it say? I can't. I keep skipping it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I should have known that was coming. I heard a snicker escape from the attacker's mouth. Oh, God. Look how... That's creepy, guys. But look at his eff, uh, at this effing mess. You really should have just stayed unconscious when I hit you with the bat, you know. Spared us all this drama. Go to hell. Oh, we will, I promise. Oh, he'll, he'll guarantee it. After all, the host has to be alive while I eat. What the heck, he's gonna eat? So he's gonna eat us? I gulped. When you say eat, do you mean... No, not your flesh, boy. Life. Life is so much tastier than flesh. Is he talking about our soul? Your memories, your thoughts, your future. All the things that make you human. Mm, I'll help myself. Don't mind if I do. And when you've stripped down and bare into the bone, you will, simp you will simply wither away, like a scab that was once flesh and blood. One week to live. I'll think about that later. What? I don't understand. Right now, I have to get Sarah to safety. My eyes darted to her, my insides turning at her labored breathing. So, okay. So, he could suck the life out of us? Is that what he's saying? Is that why when we leave... That we like die because like just all of a sudden we just get lifeless and we start like decaying pretty much. I don't really know, guys. The imposter followed my eyes with a knowing chuckle. So, shall we start with your lovely Sarah? Work our way down, piece by piece. Sarah struggled as the grip on her throat tightened. The creature started to lift her up from the floor by her neck. Stop! Stop, please! I beg you! Please, I'll do anything! Anything! The bat fell from my hands as I surrendered. All hope lost, my knees buckled, and I crashed to the floor. This can't be the real ending, guys. Anything? What could you possibly give me that I can't take, human? You did get found out by a local police officer. Looks to me that you need to help crafting a more human image. I'm a writer. I, I do that for a living. Fake Mike's ears prickled up. A grin spread across his face. Just let her go, please. I don't know how, but I'll make it worth your while. I was still contemplating my fate when Mike, when fake Mike let out a sudden yelp of pain. It seemed that Sarah kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah! Nice one, Sarah! Get him where it hurts and the family jewels. As his, as his grip loosened around her neck, Sarah broke fake Mike's fingers down to his knuckles. He screamed in fury. 
Oh my god, he broke her fing his fingers? Uh, Sarah broke fake Mike's fingers down. Ooh! He screamed okay. Uh, I already read that. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm just really into this right now. Sarah dropped to the ground gasping for error. Ugh. Mike, you always did talk too much. You pompous. <laughs> fake Mike let out a growl as he lunged for Sarah's hair. But Sarah managed to slip away from him. Yes, Sarah! I'm liking Sarah! Just all of a sudden. Sarah, get out of the house now. Get, while, get away while you can. Idiot. Like I'm going to leave you to be eaten. She sprinted upstairs to find another weapon. You stubborn. You'll get cornered upstairs. Oh god. Angry black dots began to dance on my vision. The pain in my side poked my consciousness, prodding my vision to wither. So I guess adrenaline was kind of keeping us going. I can't lose consciousness now. Oh, I was jolted awake by the sound of a huge crash. Sarah, ow. How long was I unconscious for? <gasps> oh my god, were we really unconscious? For reals? That's, that's horrible, because like you don't know what's going on. You can't do anything. The stand clock informed me I've been lying here for around 8 minutes or so. That's way too long for this right now. I sighed in relief. Looks like I haven't been out long. I tried to stand up. Ugh, my ribs. But I have to get up. I crawled towards Sarah's gun under the coffee table. Oh god, I guess I don't know. I don't I don't really want to know what happened. Apart from the crash that woke me up, everything was dead quiet in the house. That's not good. And, and the fact that Sarah's not with us right now, that's not good. I didn't know what I hated more, the silence or the anticipation of Sarah's screams. Was any was anybody even here now? I wiped the blood dripping off my chin and steadied myself. I had to be sure. Uh, maybe they're both dead. My sides were on fire. Every step I took sent a jolt of pain throughout my whole body. Oh yes, those stairs are going to be a fun ride. Oh god, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to know what happens. <laughs> you know what? You know this feeling. I made my way to the second floor with little ease. This place didn't feel like my house anymore. Like I entered another dimension that looked the same but was not the least bit similar. Tiny beads of sweat popped uh, across my forehead. I held the gun close. Don't panic. I have to focus on protecting Sarah. I don't care about what happens to me. I just want her safe. Sarah. If you're there, please call out to me. Let me know you're here. I waited for a couple of seconds before my ears picked up a muffled sound. Mike! <gasps> She's alive! They came from the guest room. I hurried over to the door and tried to open it. Sarah? Oh, Mike! Oh, she's coughing. I'm so glad you found me. I frowned. There was something weird about the way she sounded. <gasps> Maybe she got taken over. But I couldn't quite make it out. Get me out of here, Mike! I jiggled the lock, but it didn't open. Ugh, I'm s scratched up good. We have to get out of here before that monster comes back. I winced again. Was this really Sarah? Yeah, that's like what I was saying. Her voice sounded really strange, but I shrugged it off and continued to push the door open. Give me a second. I tried again, but the door wouldn't budge. Sarah, I think the door might be stuck. Damn it. Don't worry, I'll get you out, I promise. I tried kicking the door. The pain shot at my leg like a bolt, a bolt of electric fire, but now was not the time to be a sop. I kicked it a couple of more times. Each time was a glowing red pain in my extremities. Oh, pretty soon the door showed signs of moving. I thought that was our, our leg. <laughs> Thank God. Mike, what are you doing? It was Sarah, but the voice didn't come from the door. <gasps> I knew it, guys. I knew this was bad. I turned around. Oh god, in front of me was another Sarah, bloody and injured her arm limp at the, the right shoulder. I stared at her listlessly. Sarah? Don't open the damn door, Mike. The bastard's in there. Mike, what's happening? Sarah? There's a Sarah here too. Mike, listen to me. She is not real. F that. That's the fake one inside. I was able to fight it off and lock it inside that room. It kept ramming at the door over and over until the door got stuck. That's a lie, Mike. I ran into the room and locked it from the inside. It destroyed the door so I can't get out. Okay, I call bullcrap on that because if she locked herself in the door, she would have just got up and opened it by now, right? Because we were trying to get in there. But then again, I mean, we already we already established the, the Sarah inside the door didn't sound real. So, get me out of here. Please don't listen to her. Mike, look at me. I'm the real Sarah. My mind couldn't believe what was happening. Edges of a mind grade pressed at the fringes of my brain. My hands tightened on the gun. If you open that door, Mike, that bastard is going to come straight for me. It doesn't need my essence. It needs yours. He'll kill me for sure. Mike, listen to me. It is trying to trick you. You have to believe me, Mike. Please. The Sarah in front of me took a step forward. 
I pulled the gun nearer to my chest, but I couldn't bring myself to aim at her. Ooh, it's so tense right now, guys. She stops. Get back, Sarah. Let me think. Just get back. My heart rammed in my chest. I knew I had to calm down, though. At this point, I wouldn't be able to think clearly. Oh, who was I kidding? Even on a good day, I couldn't deduce the truth like Sarah. I was no detective. Mike, please. You have to shoot that fake Sarah. Shoot the epic bastard. Just what the... The B... <laughs> just what she wants, isn't it? Or that's just what she wants, isn't it? Don't listen to that monster. If we just leave it there, we can escape. It's just desperate to get out, Mike. Mike, please believe me. Put down the gun. Oh god, guys. What do you think? I know you guys can't comment while I'm playing, but... Seriously, what do you guys think? Mike, I know it's hard, but you have to be brave. I need to think first. This is too sudden. What am I going to do? The weight of the situation made my hands shake. Can I really murder someone in cold blood? Someone I love? If I made a decision too hastily, it's a mistake I can never undo. Okay, so guys, we're supposed to wait out this timer. Apparently we have a timer, which would be, if I didn't know the, this ending, then that'd be very uh, stressful. I decided to take a step back and relax. The breath that came out of my lips wavered and shook. Nevertheless, my speeding heart thanked me for the comforts. The Sarah behind me was starting to get agitated. She was trying to kick the door herself to get out. The Sarah before me frowned. Mike, time's running out. Please, hand me the gun. What should I do? Something bad is going to happen if I don't decide now. But I'm so confused. I need more time. Think, Mike. Think. There has to be another way out of this. Okay, so we're still going to not do anything. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and ask a question. That's what you have to do. you got to probe the situation, guys. Wait. I should ask you both a question so I can make sure which is the real Sarah. But it's too bad they don't have glasses, so we can't ask them about fake glasses like Sarah did. Damn it, Mike. Haven't we established that trivia questions mean Jack? <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas. Fine. Make it count then. Admittedly, I was just trying to buy time before the inevitable happens. I struggle to come up with that one perfect question that will lead me to the right Sarah. Finally, a spark flew into my mind. I turned to the Sarah in front of me. The Sarah inside the room is wounded. She told me her injuries. Okay? Which shoulder? Not the shoulder. It has a bullet wound in the right thigh. I managed to land a bullet on it downstairs. I nodded severely, my jaw clenched. The Sarah inside the room didn't really tell me any injuries, but if this is the real Sarah, then she would be correct. Oh god, oh god. Think. Oh, that was close, guys. We had to think for that one. <laughs> okay. I need to ask one last question. I turned to the Sarah behind the door. The Sarah standing in front of me is injured. What are her injuries? Dislodged right shoulder and fractured fingers. Must have broke it when she was strangling me. Oh god, the, the broken fingers do... We did break its fingers. Wait, that's it! Everything was made clear by that last question. I was glad I took the time to think. I faced the wounded Sarah in front of me. There was no doubt about it. Well, guys, I guess we shoot. Please, Oh, <gasps> The sound of the gunshot made my ears ring and note I will remember forever. Sarah crumpled to the floor. I brought the gun down to my side and walked over to her. I looked in her eyes. They were indeed hers. This is embarrassing. Being killed by a human. You know what, though? Sarah, she's not afraid of dying, so... Sarah held up her hand to me. Hold me, Mike, please. I'm sorry. I was just... <clears throat> I took her cold hands into mine and warmed it with my breath. Monster or not, this was my Sarah, and knowing it wasn't... It didn't matter at all. Right now, while she is helpless and dying rapidly in front of me, reluctant tears fell from my face. I know what Sarah wants for her birthday. Stop talking, you'll just strain yourself. She'll never tell you, but I know what it is. What? Something borrowed. Something blue. Dark blood splittered out of Sarah's mouth. She shivered. Mike, be careful. You know about us now. They won't like it. What? Who's us? What? Who is they? They might... <laughs> I'm cold. Mike, what's happening? Are you there? Please. The real Sarah's voice calmed, uh, called from inside the room. I turned to the door and looked back at the fake Sarah. Go. Sarah, I'm okay. Mike? I'm here. I walked to the door. 
Everything's okay now. I'll get you out of there. Mike, I... I thought... Sarah started to sob. I waited patiently behind the door. Pretty soon, I heard her sniff and take a couple of calming breaths. Okay. I'll push the door. You pull it open, alright? On three. The door finally gave away, and Sarah jumped into my arms as soon as it opened. My ribs complained, and I croaked in pain almost at the same time Sarah went because of her injuries. We both laughed. Is it over, Mike? Oh, crap. I hope so. But as we turned to look at the fallen imposter, it had disappeared from sight. What? Red drops of blood made a trail for the open window. Oh, crap. It got away. It escaped. Damn. I didn't say anything. I know I shouldn't be worried or alarmed that the creature was loose, but I just didn't care at the moment. Aww. That's, look at that guys. That's, that's very sweet. This is a very touching moment. Seeing Sarah lifeless with blood curdling on the floor just a while ago, and now the Sarah alive in my arms, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was given a second chance. I held Sarah in my arms and hugged her tight. So, so this game's really about they were having a failed marriage and it took an alien to come in there and fix their marriage. And that's what the alien does. He comes in there and fix people's marriages. You know, he almost kills them, but hey, it's better than getting divorced, right? Hey, lots of money involved in divorce, you know. Plus, there's kids involved, you know, it's all bad. So yeah, the, that, the alien's really good. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny if that was the real reason why the alien came in. I held Sarah in my arms and hugged her tight. How did you know it was me? I just got lucky. What do you mean? I thought you had some sort of plan. Yes and no. It was a long shot. It didn't come to me all at once, after all. So what was the point of asking me about our injuries? To stall for time, originally, but it actually managed to prove my theory after all. A theory, huh? It was your voice. My voice? I hoped the creature wouldn't remember that little detail. When you first called me, you sounded really strange. Your voice, it was raspy and sounded like it belonged to a different person. And then, while I was asking you the questions, you suddenly mentioned the, st the strangling incident. That's all when it all clicked. You were str you were strangled just recently. Oh! Okay, because her, her voice is rasp raspy because she got strangled. I didn't even think of that, guys. That's pretty good. Uh, the writer of this game was pretty pretty good at this. That's why you didn't sound like yourself. There was a significant damage to your voice box. The other Sarah's voice sounded just fine. That's a good, that's a good one. Nice one, Mike. Nice one, me. <laughs> You're right. What? You did get lucky. It was a stressful situation, alright? It's the most my brain could come up with. Sarah grinned. She pushed my old grimy glasses up my nose. I guess we have to be thankful for the little, the little details. Do you think it will ever come back? What? Well, if it does, we'll be ready. <laughs> well, you guys just keep your marriage up and the, the, the marriage-saving alien won't come back. <laughs> Alright guys, this was ending number one, The Catalyst. There are other endings, but this was the true one, guys. Um, I mean, if you guys really want me to do more, just leave comments and I might do more. But I also have another playthrough of another game that uh, I think you guys would be excited for because I am. Um, it's something I have played before, but it's been a very long time and something, it's just one of my favorite games and I would love to kind of share the experience with you guys. Um, I just want to tell you, but I don't know if I should, I don't know. Thank you for joining me again on another series, guys. It's it's always a great feeling to to go, go through series with you guys because uh, we both kind of wonder and when you guys leave comments saying you enjoy it, it's, uh, it's really, really awesome. If you guys would like to watch more videos, click this card above, and that will take you to other videos that I think you guys would enjoy. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm BG Mike, and I will see you, scrubs, in the next playthrough. Bye, guys.